Hey friends, it's Julie. Welcome to day five of your New Year New You Challenge. We have made it through the first week. Today we're gonna end this week with triceps and core. So we're really gonna focus in on those tricep muscles and then we're gonna end with the core. What I recommend is medium to light weights. I'm gonna go anywhere from 12 down to two pounds. And then you will also need a resistance band. So I'm gonna use a pretty big resistance band just to show you. So this one is probably a medium resistance band, but it's fairly big. So we are gonna do um, an exercise with this band. You will also need, if you have it, rope with jump rope or regular jump rope if you want to, or two towels, or you can just use your arms and go through the motion. We will have jump rope drills in between our strength training. So are you ready to do this workout? Let's do this. Nice big shoulder rolls. So you're at the last day of this week. Congratulations. Sticking through it, I'm so proud of you. So we're gonna burn out those triceps today and roll it to the front. So we've done a lot of focusing on one muscle group at a time, but going forward, we will be combining those muscle groups. So just so you know, we will always just have one muscle group at a time that we're focusing on. Let's go into trunk rotations. to hinge forward and lean back. Go ahead and hinge forward and just lean it back. Anybody else still feeling yesterday's workout? <laughs> or maybe even two days ago workout? It's not abnormal to have soreness last for a couple days. Stretching will help with that. Okay, this time when you go forward, you're gonna hold it there. Hold it right here, reach for the floor. Take a deep breath. Now I want you to slowly roll it to the top, one vertebrae at a time. Now bring your feet a little closer together, and we're gonna warm up the back by rolling through our vertebrae one vertebrae at a time, touch the floor, come back up, or reach for the floor, wherever you can with your flexibility. So roll it all the way down, one vertebrae at a time, and then roll it back up. I'm just gonna wanna work through our back here, so roll it down. Let's do that one more time. And roll it back up. Great. Open and close those arms in front. Let's just get some mobility going in those arms. And let's do a few big arm swings. So pull it back and reach. And hold it here and just stretch. Reach it up, stretch it out. All right, go ahead and jog in place. And we get a little heat going in our body, get our heart rate up a little bit. So you have three rounds with two exercises per round. We'll have a little cardio drill in between. Then we're gonna end with a bonus round, of course, and then we'll go on for a core. So, are you ready? Triceps can be harder. For some people, triceps are stronger for them and they can go a little heavier. For some people, triceps, they need a lot lighter weights. So gauge what works for you. I'm gonna use between 12 and two pounds. So, and maybe the 12 will be very ambitious and maybe I'll go down to 10, we'll see. So if you have a variety of weights, have those available to you so that you can switch out weights as needed. How are you, feeling warm, getting ready? Okay, let's talk about this first round. You have tricep kickbacks and then a standing tricep press. So for tricep kickbacks, you're going to hinge forward, nice flat back, slight bend in the knees, and then you're gonna reach your arms down, pull the elbows up above your back. This is a position you wanna come back to. You're going to extend, keeping those elbows lifted, wrist straight, come back in. Elbows never drop below your back, so we wanna keep them up the entire time. The other thing, watch for the wrist. Sometimes what we'll see happen is here and then people flick the wrist. So see how you're straight and flicking? So when you go, it stays in one long line without any twisting in the wrist. Yes? Okay. Second exercise is a standing press. You're gonna stand, feet hip widths apart. You're gonna hold either one or two weights right here, center of your chest. 
What I want you to do is reach straight out in front of you. And when you come in, you're gonna bring your, your elbows right in towards your ribs, nice and close. I'll show you from the front. So you're gonna push out, come back in nice and close. So it's a standing close grip press. So we're gonna focus on this tricep here, going straight out and then bringing it in nice and close. No chicken wings, pull those in. Those are your two exercises and we'll jump rope. Are you ready for this? Okay, so we are going to work for reps for this first round. So 10 to 12 reps. I'm gonna focus really for 10 reps, going a little bit heavier. If you have weights that don't quite challenge you enough to be maxed out at 10, go ahead and go for 12 reps. Are you ready? All right, so I'm gonna start with 12 pounds for my tricep kickbacks. Okay, 10 to 12 reps. Chest is staying open, we're hinged forward. We're gonna bring those elbows up. Here we go. That cracky elbows. <laughs> Here's nine for me and 10. If you want to get two more in, that's awesome. Now I'm going to set down one of those weights and I'm just going to use one weight for the tricep press. Same thing. We're going to do 10, 12 reps. Are you ready? Here we go. Out, bring it straight back in. Here's nine. I'm gonna go to 12 on this one. Now, because I felt like I could just keep going, I'm gonna go up and wait for the next round. All right, grab your jump rope or two towels, or you're just gonna use your arms and make the jump rope motion. We're gonna do this for 45 seconds. Then we'll rest and we'll go back and do that round again. Take a deep breath, and you're just gonna do little jumps or little heel lifts if you don't wanna jump. Here we go. So you're jumping on the ball of your feet, not your toes, and not your heels. Slight bend in the knee, you don't wanna jump on locked out knees, or you're just lifting your heels. So make sure you're twirling your rope. Almost there, you have five more seconds. And rest. Ooh, good job. Okay, I am going to go up in weights. So, we'll see how I do. I'm a little nervous to go up and try to set kickbacks, but we're here to work hard, right? So, I'm just going to go for it. Are you ready? Tricep kickbacks, 10 to 12 reps. Nice hinge, elbows up, here we go. Here's eight. pounds to do this standing press. Ready? Here we go. So straight out, right back in. Elbows nice and tight.
There's 10, I'm gonna do two more. Rest. Okay. Grab your jump rope or your towels, and get your arms ready. So, 45 seconds of our jump rope, and then we have one more round of that before we move on. Take a deep breath. Make sure that this action is happening in your wrist, and not your shoulders, all right? Here we go. So, I've got my arms up to the side, and this is happening from the elbow and below, not the shoulders. Now you can also move your feet if you want to jock your feet. You can jump in place, you can go side to side, whatever you want to do with the jump rope for your feet, totally fine. And if you don't like to jump rope, you can choose a different target. If you want to run in place, if you want to do jumping jacks, that's all great too. Five more seconds. And rest. Whew. Okay, one more time through. How are you doing with your weight selection? Should you go up, should you go down? Or are you good where you're at? I'm gonna stick with this 15 pounds. It is a challenge. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it is a challenge. But I'm here for it. I'm here to challenge myself this month. So I'm gonna try to go up my weight to where I can. Ready? Here we go. There's seven, and my arms are dying. And ten. Oh my gosh. If you're getting in two more reps, go ahead and do that. I'm actually going to go up and wait for this last standing press. Just because I'm getting to the 12 reps pretty easily. All right. Are we ready? Here we go. Much harder. Here's eight. One more. That's ten for me. That's good. If you're getting two more reps in, awesome. Finish those out, and we'll go back to our jump rope. Okay, we got jump rope in five seconds. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Jump it out. Now this next round, we actually just have one exercise, but we have right and left. So we'll do just the right side, then we'll do just the left side, and then we'll jump rope. Whatever you want to do with those feet, Make it fun for you. And rest. Good job. Okay. So this next exercise, let me show you. We're going to do one arm at a time. You have a single arm overhead tricep extension. So you're going to have your arm, excuse me, straight up in the air. You're going to pick, face that palm forward. We want to hinge at the elbow and keep all of this straight without moving. You're gonna lower it right down in front of your face, straighten it right back up. Make sure your shoulder stays down. So we don't wanna be like here, down. Just hinging at the elbow, straighten back up. Not all of this, right? No rainbow arms, just a controlled motion of hinging at the elbow and fully straightening that tricep at the top. Definitely more challenging. I'm gonna start with eight pounds. That's probably where I'm gonna stay, but maybe I'll bump up to 10. So 10 reps on one side, then we'll switch and we'll do 10 reps on the other side. Are you ready? Make sure you're standing in a neutral position. So no arching of the back and no 
tucking of the pelvis straight. We want that pelvic bone pointing towards the floor and we're just standing nice and tall. Okay, are you ready? Arm up, here we go. Here's five. Two more. And 10. Go ahead and switch arms. If you're doing 12 reps, go ahead and do two more. Did you feel it? I definitely felt it. Okay. Load it up on the other side, so you got your palms facing forward. Here we go. that down. Grab your jump ropes. Okay, whatever you want to do with your feet, if you want to mix them up, I'm going to do, I think, scissor runs with my feet. Here we go. 45 seconds. Swing that rope. I love these ropeless jump ropes because I never mess up. I never trip over the rope. I never hit myself with the rope. Like a master at jump roping when I have a rope strip rope. <laughs> we have 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Okay. Let's go back to the triceps. I'm gonna stick with my eights. I'm contemplating going up for the last round. We'll see how my arms feel after this one. 10 to 12 reps, load that weight up. Here we go. Here's eight. And ten. Oh, there's a little shoulder burn there too because you're just holding that arm above your head, right? So you get that little like fire that starts happening in the shoulder. It's good. Okay, ready? Here we go. Two more. And rest. Okay. Grab your jump ropes. Are you ready? Here we go. Jump it out. You have 45 seconds. We just have that round one more time. And then we'll move on to our last round. That's where you're going to need your resistance band, is the last round. Now make sure you're also engaging your core. I know it seems like this wouldn't be an exercise where you need to think about your core, but you want to engage your core all the time. Because really, we're always working our core muscle. If we're engaging it, which supports our lower back, makes our abs stronger, In three, two, one, and rest. Okay, one more time. I'm gonna try going up. I wanna do it because I wanna, I wanna get stronger. So I'm gonna go for tens. I'm a little nervous because the eights are a challenge. 
for the overhead extension. There's some tricep exercises where I feel really strong and there's others where I'm like, I cannot go as heavy. That's totally normal. So, but we wanna fight for going heavy when we can and just do our best. As long as you're keeping good form. Ready? Let's do it. Two more. And 10. Okay, I'm super happy that we made it to 10 reps. Take a deep breath. We gotta do this on the other side. But then you're done with this, this round. Okay, ready? Here we go. Two more. And 10. All right. Okay, we're going back to the jump rope. Feeling good about this? Feeling ready? Okay, take a deep breath, and if you will finish up those last two reps, of course, don't, make, don't, don't let me rush you through your reps. Here we go. If you ever need to pause because you're not quite done, that's totally okay. <clears throat> Jump it out. You got this. Or the little heel lifts. I don't know you, but I love the cardio drills with weight training. I just, I just like it. It's a fun way to sneak cardio in. Five more seconds. And rest. Great job. Okay. This is where you're gonna to wanna to grab your very lightest weights and your resistance band. So, I've got two pounds and my resistance band. So let's go through the resistance band first. That's our first exercise. We're gonna do the right and the left. So really you kind of have three exercises in this round. I'm gonna take my band and loop it around one arm as many times as I need to to get a good resistance. I'm gonna hold that arm up by your shoulder. The other one is gonna be across your body, gripping that band. You're gonna hinge at the elbow, pulling that band down towards your hips, and then coming back up. The only thing moving is this elbow. Shoulder stays in place, this arm stays in place, holding the tension on the band. So you're just going to Pull it down and then come right back to where your elbow and your arm make a 90 degree angle and that's where you're stuck. So we're not coming all the way here. So we're going to be here, extend, and come right back to here and extend. Okay? So however you need to hold your resistance band for enough tension so that you really feel that pull down. Are you ready? 10 reps per side, 10 to 12, whichever you want. Neutral stance. So the higher you pull this arm up, and the more you have it wrapped around your hands, the more resistance you're gonna have. You can wrap around the bottom arm too if you need to get more resistance in there. Okay, so hold this up nice and high. Are you ready? Here we go. Extend, really extend the tricep. Come back to 90 degrees. Really extend. Six. Here's 10, I'm gonna do two more. Are you really pulling and extending that tricep? Ooh. Okay, let's do the other side. So, this arm up, and you want to keep this steady, so don't pull it with, right? Keep it there. 
Okay, ready? Here we go. or no weights. You're gonna be slightly hinged forward. You're gonna put your arms straight out to the side with your thumbs facing down. Then we're basically gonna do an extended kickback. You're going to bring your arms in and extend them out. Then need your pinkies in the lead and your thumbs down. 10 to 12 reps. This exercise is hard because you're staying elevated the entire time. Your shoulders don't get to drop, your elbows don't get to drop, and you're doing a kickback, but you're elevated. So we're coming in and we're kicking out, really squeezing in that tricep, okay? 10 to 12 reps. Pull it up, here we go. Out, come back in, keep everything elevated. Five more seconds. And rest. Woo, okay, grab your band. Let's go back to those tricep pull downs. I'm gonna start with the other arm this time, just for fun. No reason, start with whatever one you want to. So I'm wrapping my band to get more resistance. Holding it up high. Are you ready? Here we go. Really hold that extension at the bottom just for a few seconds. Let's get a good burn in there. There's 10, I'm gonna do two more. Rest. I feel like I need to dumb spaces when I'm lifting weights. I've gone back you know, to edit my videos and been like, oh, the way you contort your face is yuck. You know what, don't feel bad about the way you contort your face because whatever you gotta do to get through your reps, it's okay. If you grimace, if you grimace your face up, it's good. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna try to smile through it. There's 10, I'm gonna do two more. You wouldn't think these little bands can cause so much pain, but they can. Okay, those things are great to travel with, by the way. In fact, I have a whole playlist on YouTube that's just with travel friendly workouts where you don't need much equipment, and I have a bunch with the resistance band because they are great. If you don't have a lot of equipment or you're going somewhere, 
just in case you were wondering. <laughs> okay, are you ready? We have the elevated kickback. So, arms are up, pinkies are gonna be in the lead. Here we go. charge of this resistance band. There was 10, I'm gonna do two more. Go to the other side. Last time through. Ready? Here we go. Here's eight. Oh, my arm is just dying. I mean, in a good way. Two more if you're going to 12. Oh, I swear sometimes it helps to squint your eyes closed <laughs> when it's getting harder. I find myself doing that, and I'm convinced it's because it makes it easier if I just close my eyes tight and finish the last row. I don't know. Tell me what works for you. Okay, are you ready? Last time. Elbows up. Here we go. Here's six. Excellent. Okay. You just have one more time with the jump rope and then you're done with the jump rope. We'll do a quick little bonus round. We'll hit the core. Ready? Here we go. Last time through. Give it all you've got. I don't know 
know if any of you guys want to jump rope as a kid, but I loved it. I used to just jump rope all over the school playground, and I was way better at it back then. <laughs> I don't know, as kids, I swear we used to pick things up so fast. But don't you just remember like jumping rope, and you're just skipping it around the playground? I could never get the double dutch. I tried so hard, never could get it. Like I would get one or two jumps, and I would just mess up every time. Two, one, and rest. You're done with that. Okay, let's talk about this quick little bonus round before we move on to court. You got dips, tricep dips. On the floor or on a bench. I'm gonna use my bench because I can get a dip, uh, deeper range of motion. However, if you're on the floor because you don't have a bench or chair, take your hands right next to your hips. Fingertips facing forward. You can either have your heels dug in or your feet flat, whatever works for you, but you're gonna lift yourself up and you want to lower, bending your elbows and straight. Okay, so if you're doing on the floor, you're gonna do it that way. If you're doing it on a bench or a chair, you're gonna sit at the edge, fingers are facing forward, right next to your hips. Now the thing is, when you lower, you want to stay pretty close to your bench, not where you're gonna scrape your back, but you don't want to be far away from your bench. The further out your feet are, the harder it will be. So if you're here, your feet are close, this is gonna be your easiest. If you move your feet out, still keeping your glutes close to the bench to lower down. This gets a little harder. That's the hardest. Okay. We have one minute. I know, such a long time. One minute as many reps as you can. If you've got a rest in between, that's fine. Are you ready for this? Make sure your elbows go back. Here we go. One minute. Here's 20 for me. Oh. And rest. I got 25. And that was hard. Okay, let's finish with really quick core. So, five exercises. We're gonna go for 50 seconds each. And then we'll take a really quick rest to trans, uh, transition into our next exercise. So your first one, just crunches. Regular old crunches. So lay on back, fingertips behind the head. Don't interlace your hands and grip your head because you're more likely to then just do a neck pull. So light fingertips, they're just there to gently support your head. You wanna lift with your core, pull your shoulders off the floor, pull your belly button back towards your spine. So do not allow space to come between your back and the mat. So we're just gonna do crunches for 50 seconds and then you'll get a quick little rest. Are you ready? Let's go. Crunch and lower. Now you don't have to race through them. We want Quality reps over quantity of reps. And I like to think of the bottom of my rib cage trying to come down towards my hip bones. Like I'm trying to close this gap right here. Give five more seconds. And rest. Your next exercise is going to be an oblique crunch with a knee lift. So you're going to be here. So it's like a modified bicycle. Are you ready? Let's go. 
So one shoulder comes up off the floor while we reach that elbow to the knee. Five seconds. And rest. Okay, your next exercise you're gonna lay flat. You're gonna bring your knees up, maybe tabletop. Drop your heels to touch the floor and come back. That's it. Ready? Here we go. Keep the lower back on the floor. If this is too hard, you can alternate and do one at a time. So use control in your core. To let those help heels come down to touch the floor and bring them back up. And if you can't quite touch the floor because your back comes up, then just lower as far down as you can. and rest. Okay, we're going into a dolphin plank. So you're going to be on your forearms in a plank. Right here, you're going to push back into a dolphin or it looks like a down dog, come back to plank. Yes, okay, you can do this. Ready? Here we go. Push it back, come to plank. Push it back, come to plank. Now you can also be here and a plank on your knees. Make sure you can pull that belly button in towards the spine and you're using your core to do this movement. Straight arm plank, straight arm plank, knee to elbow, knee to elbow. If you need to be here, I just want you to hold the straight arm plank with your knees down. Make sure that you hold that core in though, okay? So pull that belly button in towards the spine. Ready? Here we go. back into a down dog and you just want to push your heels towards the floor push your hands into the floor and push away so think of your tailbone going towards the ceiling you're going to stretch down the back of your legs stretching out your lower back walk your feet to your hands if you can 
and roll it to the top. Okay, take one arm up, pat yourself on the back, other arm over and give a little tug to that elbow. Let's we'll stretch out the triceps. You did such a good job. You finished this week strong. Tomorrow there is an optional stretch day. So if you want to focus on really stretching and gaining more flexibility, check that workout out. We won't be too long. Let's switch other arm over. But this month, this is the time to work on that flexibility, stretching those muscles out, recovering properly from a workout. So join me for that stretch tomorrow. It'll feel very good. And release, just close those arms, open and close. And go ahead and clasp behind your back and just pull down, opening up the chest and just stretching out the body. You did such a great job today. Thank you so much for joining for this workout. I'm so glad that you made it through week one with me and I can't wait to do week two with you. Bye.